Hello YouTube, this is Live Forever and Die For Nothing, or Tomo, whichever it takes your fancy. Um, I'm just doing a quick haul video, really. Um, just some pickups that I've got recently, I uh, thought I'd show them off. Um, so, first thing is this fella, which is the uh, Back to the Future Lego set, which is awesome. So, all the gubbins on the back there, see if you can see them. Uh, so it's got a flux capacitor, the outer time, number plate, the uh, 2015 number plate and the um, time dials there. And there's all the three modes you can get it in. Part 1, Part 2 and Part 3 there. So that's the box. Um, the uh, instruction manual is very, very cool. Um, quite thick as well. Uh, obviously, you know, with all the uh, detail on it, but it, it does have little, little bits of information in it, like this. So uh, a percentage of the money goes to the Parkinson's research uh, for Michael J. Fox. Uh, and along along through the book as well, it does have little tidbits of information about um, certain parts, like uh, well, let's see if we can find one now. I can't find one now. Bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves. Da -da 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 -da. No, I was wrong. I could have sworn I'd found, some, found something early on. But it's all about the... Ah, there's a little bit at the beginning. I like the films. I thought there was something at the back as well. Oh, it's about uh, the people that... Um, did it. I thought there was more around than that. But it's very good for have a quick read through. Uh, and you do obviously get a little Lego Doc Brown. When he's. Uh, let's uh, get that to pick that out. He's in the first movie Get Up, and he's all in the Out of Time. Uh, number plate there on the little skateboard. You also get this this piece that you have to build, which goes on the bonnet of the car to represent part three. And then you get the set itself with a little Lego Marty that fly there. I love this thing, it is awesome. So inside you can see there's a little flux capacitor. Is the I don't know whether you'll be able to see that from there. No, you can't. But there's the time circuits special. And then there's the number plate. And obviously these flick up and down. And you get this little stand, these little clear pieces to make it look like it's hovering on your shelf. You've got the Mr. Fusion there on the back. And you do have another part in here which is supposed to represent, which is that little piece there, which is supposed to represent the uh, nuclear reactor from the first movie. And obviously, you get some red wheels as well for making it look like the part three version. Um, but I think mine's going to stay like this because it looks badass. Uh, yeah, so that was one thing that I got. Um, the next was this book by Bruce Campbell. If Chins Could Kill. I haven't read it yet, but uh, it looks very good. Uh, I've heard good things about it, so I'm going to check that out. Give there a read. I just finished Dan Gilderson's book, uh, Bumblebee and Me, which I thought was really cool. Um, it was a very good book. Uh, quite informative. Like most people have said, it's very short, but 
it's fun it's a fun read and I'll probably read through it again um, and the last the last thing from this mini mini pickup uh, is a mint on card G1 Bumblebee um, it's in fairly good condition the card back obviously it's wrinkled and there's a few uh, marks and dings in it but uh, for the most part it, it'll do me and it's it's a bumblebee and it's minty fresh so uh, there's my mini pickup uh, for this uh, period of time uh, I don't know whether I'll date it I probably won't I'm very lazy um, yeah I just thought I'd uh, show off really uh, that's where I've been buying since AA um, and I don't think there's anything else no no that's it uh, so thanks for watching and see you all again soon bye